Hello! Welcome! Hope you're not afraid of the dark. Because this is 30 Deadly Days. So you better pull your gun out and hope you can survive very well. Can you survive in the dark? Would you be afraid to eat green eggs and ham in the dark with a lantern and a gun? Hello everyone, welcome. Today we're talking about The Deadly 30, a PC game made with Flash. It's a pretty cheap game you can get on Steam. You can also get it on Gamersgate if you prefer a DRM-free version. Either way, it's pretty cheap and inexpensive, and it's very simplistic. Simply put, you start out on day one as an American soldier in the middle of what is, of course, the zombie apocalypse. Of course. Of course. With all your wits, a machine gun, and two directions to go, what will you do? What will you search for? You start out on your base with a small tutorial of all the controls. And then your first night begins. Simply put, the day is simply... Each day is simple. The morning you scavenge, and the night you feel everything. And every approaching day, newer enemies, worse enemies, faster enemies, stronger enemies, more horrifying things will come with each day, and the survival will become harder and harder. So what do you scounge for? Ammo? Guns? Survivals? You can find ammo and junk scavenging, whether by day or by night. You can find junk, which can be used to make things. You can also find a Russian and a German survival. But will you find them soon? Will it be too late? And all life is gone. I'm not sure. The game works in 2D fashion. There's no 3D being a flash game. You have left and right and right and left. And that's all you get. You have your base in the middle and you have two areas one direction and two areas the other direction. So it's a very small field of gameplay. So it's not complicated, it's to the point. Scavenge your areas, get junk, get back to your base, and fucking fight the undead at night. Now the undead start off as pretty simple things, you know, green, rotting corpses that are slow. But then you get fast blue ones, and then you get strong red ones, and then you get fat, gutsy, blowing up ones. Then you get things that are really big and smashity. And then dogs, and then bats, and then crows. Well, actually, I can't lie, there are no bats, but there are crows. Not any wondrous, unique thing, to be honest, but there are a few gag things if you survive long enough. A few comedy cutscenes, and one particular zombie that's kind of a joke, but you have to survive long. If you can. But anywho. Simply, you want to gather your survivals, gather junk, and the pull, of course, the porn part, the tower defense aspect. So, not only can you increase your armor, the weapons they wield, which the American wields a machine gun, the Russian wields a shot, uh, no, a sniper gun, and the German has a shotgun. You can upgrade to have them bell versions of the guns, the armor, you can get boots that allow you to run faster, and you can also shield your base with boxes and make a constructed wall on both sides of the building upgrade the material of that wall from a wooden fence to a metal fence to bricks to steel to clay or whatever you get the idea it, you get better wells and then of course probably the most useful thing you'll need 
taunt guns. And lots of them. You have two variety of taunt guns. Two. The game is just very simplistic and takes place through 30 days with a small meter in the corner with the sun and moon swapping places to tell time. Though you can go in the dark and search for things, but that will usually prove to be deadly. However, you can if you are good. And early on is also possible, but later in the game, good luck! Because you'll die a lot. This game is pretty short if you know what you're doing. It took me about three tries to get a winning playthrough for my quiet Let's Play I did on my Let's Play channel. Because I was sick at the time. Sick. But anywho, for the price, which I believe was three ninety nine, the amount of time, and a small bit of getting the warning curve to survive until all three days are out, and making use of your junk, supplies, and time, I'd say it's not a bad title to put a little time in. It's not perfect by far. It's simple, and it's cheap. But it functions. I got some entertainment from it. And it works. You can look up a video or the trailer. And also, to note, the person who did the art for this game has uh, a channel who does flash cartoons on YouTube, so, and I think he also does Newgrounds, or he did before YouTube. <laughs> so, he's also well known for all that, so, you might be a little curious about that, too. I think I might pop a link to his YouTube channel if you still have internet out there. <laughs> It's not much of a world out there anymore, though. Not much of a world anymore. You could say it's going hollowed. Anywho, I recommend the title if you don't mind throwing a few bucks at it. And I recommend it for anyone who likes zombies, side-scrolling, shooting, and some slight strategy defense. If you're not into that stuff, then probably won't like it. Until next time, when the sun rises, you better praise it, because it might be your last time. <laughs>